Hi, it's Beezy. It's April 9th, 2022, and today is day 27. Um, and I'm on a, doing a block of four days where I'm going to start at six in the morning and end at nine o'clock. So um, as if I wasn't full of energy already. <laughs> I'm flagging a bit. I'm just home to uh, feed the doggies and then go back. Um, to work. Anyway, today was more letting go day. And um, once my perception is, you know, moved around, letting go is always a good thing. And, and actually letting it go where you watch it walk, you know, away with someone. So, um, it's a good thing because the place is more cleared out. My friend um, um, Penny came and she got um, this lovely, I guess it was velvet or something, whatever the fake one is that's uh, velour or something. Velvet. I mean, there was a lovely chair, green chair that was in the crystal room and she's been coveting it for years and so she packed it up and went home with her today. And she took the chaise lounge. And, um, she took all my big pots and stuff. So she'll enjoy them. And there's no way they're coming with me. And I can have a vision of her sitting happily um, in the green chair and or maybe around crystals. And so that's cool. So that stuff, a whole, a whole truck load of stuff um, went. So the porches. Well, the porch is not empty because I lost of stuff I'm packing. But at least that letting go was good. I couldn't keep it, even though I'd like to. And so off it goes. And, um, and I'll exchange some of her gifts um, for uh, the last um, session with Keegan and Sander before we go on the road. And then... Trying to think, you know, so I, I've gotten more organized. Some stuff has come in, or, and someone who actually was running in town got me a couple other things that I needed. Um, and so I'm hoping when I get off work tonight at nine that I can put in at least two hours, hopefully, maybe I'll have enough energy to put in three hours, and I can actually start to pack now that I have. Um, containers. And I don't know if I mentioned this last night, but one of the clever ideas was to put a floor, a false floor. Originally, the idea came about because his friend was saying, well, you know, if you have some things you want to kind of hide, we could somehow make a false floor. And I said, well, I think I have that covered. Um, but this way, we make like a eight, six, I forgot what the measurement is, six to eight inches up from the floor. And these are super heavy duty bags that are pretty large and they measure. And so the back seat, when the dogs hop up, you know, up the step bumper and then the next thing in, they're stepping on the floor, which will be soft. So it'll be sweatshirts and clothes and all that kind of stuff. And it'll be spread out and they're in super heavy duty bags. Then I'll put something over that. So they're not, you know, getting caught in between and stuff. And then that will be their floor, but I'll have all that space for you know soft um, clothing store everywhere. And then I got so going to do the same similar kind of thing. Um, maybe someday if I stop by someone, I don't have gave all my tools, but I don't have any tools. But to maybe make maybe with this friend who suggested it to to make um, a false floor there that I, that I can slide. You know, one end is open and I can slide something in um, in the what we're calling the sitting area of the bedroom back there because I need to keep I'd like to use some storage in there um, but it has to be something that can be stepped on because the dogs only have basically I think 30 37 38 inches wide and then it's a little a little longer. Um, you know, for what, just when we're, we're sleeping, I get 24 inches, so <laughs> they got a lot more room. Um, and then Kitty can either go up and hide underneath if she wants and be cozy on some tubs or something. 
So that's the logistics of today. And I think the, the biggest thing I want to impart is that um, when we fully step out of intellectual exercise, this one is, you know, um, being a good guest, creator being. Um, we fully step out of it being intellectual exercise and we fully embody it. Or we have the intention more and more each moment, each step, we are more and more fully um, embodying it. And however old you are, how many lifetimes you may have had, embodiment, you have grooves and roots and ruts and, and flows of, of habitualness um, of forgetting who you are, of forgetting that you're not small and you're not missing anything. And you are one bodaciously amazing creator being. No excuses, no buts, no what you don't understand. None of those apply. And so there is a, the fatigue doesn't come from creating, the fatigue comes from because when you step into, or I should say, when you step fully out of it being intellectual exercise, and in every moment you are consciously, intentionally creating what you want, day-to-day -day stuff, in the workflow stuff, like me, everything stuff, <laughs> um, and the workflow and the day stuff. Um, when you step into that, when you step out of the intellectual exercise and you step into this intentionally, you take the step and you see and feel and sense and have a knowing of that bigger vision, multiple aspects of the bigger vision. Boy, do I have that. Um, when you're there, you are actually in a tangibly visceral, vital way, changing everything within all of your bodies, mental, emotional, electromagnetic, etheric, spiritual, galactic, all of them. So that's where some of that tiredness or some of that wearing down comes from because you're, you've told your soul, you've told your master guys, you've told your whole cadre, and you know, people really don't have an idea. Well, a lot of people do, but but many people don't have an idea just how loved you we are, and just how much assistance we have. And when one starts to tune into it, and one starts to take the steps, so own it for themselves. And then get all the guidance and keep going because you have to do it. That's the game. You got the free will thing going on <laughs> and you got to stick to it. But so, so some of the, I forgot the word that I used to describe being tired, but, but that's a major reason. It's not because it's so hard to do these different things. And yeah, that's changing perception and, and if you really want these things, then you're the one who changes them. No one can do it for you. And no one can give it to you that will last in a way that is truly authentic for you. Um, that is no one's. But one of the things for the, the just losing some steam, that's enough for losing some steam is because everything in your whole, all of your systems, all of your energetic fields, in the tangible, you know, think of all of the, the parts within your, your body and your mind and emotions and all of that, 
they are going through a hyper accelerated shift and change because you said yes, because you said, I can do this because you said, I am a kick-ass creative being and I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it every moment, whether it's a little thing or medium or kind of big or a everything. And you just happen to be <laughs> on this planet right this moment uh, when all of the energies are changing and Gaia is expanding and expanding and expanding and you are as well. And so you're going through all these additional physiological, mental, emotional, electromagnetic changes because you're shifting from a carbon structure to a crystalline structure, which is upgrading your ability to connect to your heart's desires, right, even more. So sleep is good. I'm looking forward to getting some of that. Sleep is good. But it's really delicious when you play with it and you be with it and you connect with it and you say, yes, I am love. I be love. I receive love. And I love me. And then you walk through this path. And you dance and you skip and you jump through this path. And you may have moments where it seems like you've hit a bumpy road or a brick wall or a poor crumbling wall. And you breathe and you get back in the center and you definitely get into your heart and that trinity that I talk about, heart, soul, and self. And you just take a moment to tune in and then you take the next step, and you take the next step. And when I just said that last little piece that I said, the heart expansion even more, because I keep saying it, I keep doing it, I keep moving forward no matter what comes up, you know, good, bad, ugly, whatever that, you know, that may perceived momentarily to switch, switch things up. And because with all going on, I'm, I'm delighted because I was asked to, because I want to, and people seem to like it. To share with you because this is what we're doing. Because I've said this before, but newsflash <laughs> everybody is changing everything in their life, whether you're consciously doing it or not, it's happening because all of the old systems, all of the old structures, all of the old sectors are going away. So, however, you have your income or you know, if you have a retirement or anything, it's all going to change. So, and everything else will change uh, right away. So get on the, on the expansive side, like get on what do you really want? Because the sitting on the fence and, you know, it'd be great when I get the memo and, and the um, tour guide comes up and takes me in the bus to show me the new earth. Um, you're going to be funky. And that's a really nice thing because, because what I have seen, even if it's only a fraction of what I have seen and been told and been guided to of what that I can create, what I would co-create, what is coming forward, the videos that are coming in, if even only a you know teeny tiny soupçon of that comes to fruition um, off the charts, astonishingly beautiful and fun and happy and um, creative and colorful, colors, 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 and beautiful tonings that come forward from me and from all others in the creation. This is how life really is. What, what we're bringing forward now. This is how, you can come up here. This is how, this is how life, got, you know, everybody needs an Aussie back. But this is how life is. Sublimely delicious. And we're bringing it forward. And what we did last time in this construct that's unwinding and unbinding, 
is sublimely delicious too, because the, the complexity and the nuance and the beauty, even in the perceived things that are absolutely rot gut ugly, right? But it's expansion because we're not just little beings in a sweatshirt and um, we create and we play different games and we create more. And we rocked this last one. We, we created, created, created whoa, way beyond anything. And now we're, now we're cleaning it all up, we're unwinding and unbinding it. Everyone's waking up and others do that. And it's just unimaginably, astonishingly beautiful. Just the front leading edge of that. And what we all play. It's, I don't have words. It's amazing. Unique and individuated and unity and collectivity. Really cool. So my dog is pushing me off the couch. Like it's my dog break for dinner <laughs> is over. And I'm back to the salt line. So I love you. And fix your heart. Fix your focus. Fix your smile. Fix your right. Yeah. Fix your vibration and clarity right in here in you in what you would like to create, what you would like to move forward, because never, ever, 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 ever have we been more supported in a really obvious, like, neon sign, like, plain flying over your house. Uh, by an amazing assortment, a whole host of beings that are here just to help us so we can help ourselves and we can help and play and explore.